a lot of you have been sending me this article from the Hollywood Reporter concerning Harry and Meghan, and I have a lot to say. Some of you may agree with things I have to say in this video, and some of you may not like the things I say in this video. From the title, it says, Why Hollywood Keeps Quitting Harry and Meghan, and it was basically talking about their quote-unquote high employee turnover rate. So immediately observing this article, or this roundup rather, my antennas went straight up. This cover, this cover screams YouTube. This cover screams troll, hater, deranger, anti-Megan, anti-Harry. These are the type of thumbnails that they create for their YouTubes and their Twitter. So right off the rip, I went into this knowing this is not a serious article. This is just trying to get clicks. So immediately once you start reading this article, you start to observe quite a few mistakes. And mind you, this article was written and edited by two editors of this magazine. It reads like a Frankenstein type of experiment where they just chopped and screwed different types of bits and pieces from different articles from the UK that discussed this topic previously. It lists a whole bunch of employees from their American side that has left Harry and Meghan. They list Samantha Cohen and they list her as someone who left her position in 2021. That isn't true. First off, Samantha Cohen worked for Harry and Meghan when they were working royals and she left in 2019. But this article has her listed as someone who was working for them when they came to America and they said she left in 2021. In this next paragraph, they talk about the bully investigation that was conducted by Buckingham Palace after or before the Oprah interview and how Meghan Markle denounced the allegations as a smear campaign. But then they quote a source on the state side who says that Megan threw no noisy tantrums and had angry 5 a.m. emails, which earned her the in-house name Duchess Difficult. But that title, Duchess Difficult, was already allegedly given to her by former employees from the palace. So how did she get that title here in America? But this is where this article just reads like a Fox News article to me. And I quote, she's absolutely relentless, says one source. She marches around like a dictator in high heels. Foaming and barking orders. I've watched her reduce grown men to tears. Am I the only one who smell a bit of misogyny? <laughs> and the line about her reducing grown men to tears it sounds like something that is was once described as Princess Anne. I'm just saying. This next part that just blew this whole article up for me. And I quote, and in a recent episode of her Archetypes podcast, and right then, and that's where I drew the line, because Archetypes was two years ago. There's nothing recent about it. All the episodes came out in the year 2022. We are in 2024. How is that recent? There's a few things that I'm thinking. I'm thinking, one, the Hollywood Reporter is doing what I'm noticing a lot of other publications are doing and a lot of journalists are doing. They're catching on to the fact that this is an easy click. And that is pretty much the motivational factor of writing articles today. Two, they're fishing for some sort of source that's close to Harry and Meghan currently or was close to Harry and Meghan because a lot of people do not realize Harry and Meghan has a very, very tight circle ever since they've been here in America. Or three, all of this is true. Former employees from their American ties have complained. In my opinion, this was not vetted. Nothing of this was real. This is from past articles presented as something new. And here's another inkling. One last thing as well. Both the journalists who wrote this article were both just criticized recently for how they wrote an article concerning Angelina and Brad Pitt meeting in Venice. And a lot of people complained that they just pretty much mocked Angelina in her experience with DA. Now, I don't know these journalists. I've never heard of them before. But the fact that a lot of stuff that they've written in this article, and mind you, these are two editors of this, this publication. But several things in this article is just inaccurate. So I'm just kind of like, I'm questioning the motive of this article and everything else in it. But this is a part where you guys might not like. Harry and Meghan have to get a hold of this narrative. I say that wholeheartedly with all the support and admiration for both these two individuals. But it's, it's one thing to have this story 
in the UK. But to have this story over here in America and they're doing work in Hollywood, that's another thing. I totally believe in my heart that there are people who have caught on to the fact that demonizing, villainizing Harry and Meghan, particularly Meghan, is very lucrative. And one thing about America, it is a, it's a capitalistic country that is very money motivated more than any other country in the world. And creating smear campaigns and, and, and destroying people's reputations, even if it's not true, that is real here as well. But you guys can't just think about the Sussex Squad. Stuff like this start to stick. This is potentially damaging. Meghan and Harry have to get a hold of this type of narrative. They're writing articles like this now. And this continues on. It's going to be hard to defend this. And it's going to be hard to even make an excuse for it at some point. If the truth does not come out or if they don't say something soon. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying this because as I believe this. I'm just telling you how the world can start looking at stories like this. Stuff like this is taken very seriously out here. Just saying. Also, guys, we're on the road to 30K, so please make sure that you give this page a follow if you enjoy my content and leave a comment. I would love to know what you think. But also, make sure you give my new page of Quest with Dre a follow as well if you enjoy my content. We're on the road to 1,000 over on that account, so make sure you give that page a follow and check out the content and tell me what you think.